in daily in inspirational content and almost half marathon. I love them. It's incredible. My quads, thigh buttons. No, I've never done that. I'm so proud of myself that I literally want to cry. Everything happens for a reason. Yeah. Oh, it feels so good to sit down, but basically I have so much cooking to do, so much baking to do, and obviously on the day when all water, hot and cold, has been cut down, restricted, locked? I don't know, basically they are doing something in the apartment buildings, so there's no water right now. From 12 to 6, and what time is it? It's 12. My mom put a lot of water in some buckets, but basically I need to make pancakes. I need to um, make protein bread, and also my friend, if you know me, okay, you don't know me, but basically I love gingerbread cookies. And he bought me, oh, basically, Four packs, okay, two kilos with it. Uh, it's currently February and uh, no, I'm not done with gingerbread cookies. <laughs> and I was like, where do you get those all good deals, okay, sales on those gingerbread cookies? Because I can't find anything, nothing's left. As, it's, as it is February, that means if there are some sort of leftovers in stores, then they're selling the leftover gingerbread cookie dough. So yeah, I have two kilos of it. I also, eight days ago, I made gingerbread cookies. Usually when I make gingerbread cookies, I try to somehow save. Not eat everything, not in one day, because if in one day, then I would feel so sick, but at least for four days. But surprisingly, I made it eight days ago and I have, um, well, you can see, I have three cookies left, but it lasted eight days. That's a huge surprise for me. And it actually looks like it's spring even though it's February and three days ago it was snowing. I'm absolutely starving. I can't be bothered to make anything aesthetic or whatever because like oh my freaking god. Also the tofu is really really great. I love it. It's it's with garlic and it tastes incredible. You don't have to do anything with it. You can eat it plain. First of all I'm going to eat everything and then I'm going to bake and cook and oh god, I'm tired. Because it's my first meal of the day and yes it's 12 and now it's not great but what can I do? What can I do? Oh, if and if you're wondering why my pancake butter batter is greenish, well basically it's protein pancakes but um, you know those healthy powders? Like maybe maca powder, like ashwagandha, whatever. I don't have those, but I have like lucum powder and some sort of green. I have moringa powder and lucum powder, and the moringa powder is green and it's disgusting. But the only place where I can put it is in pancakes, and you'll be like, hmm, that ruins all the pancakes. But as these are protein pancakes and the protein powders are banana, caramel, and vanilla, two different ones, the banana is really strong, so I can't taste really this one, the green. Moringa powders. These powders are really good for your health. Like, they are good, 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 but they're not delicious at all. I also wanted to make the gingerbread cookies, but I feel like it's not going to happen. It's already almost 1 p.m. and I'm tired from standing and <laughs> making the pancakes for three days. That's what I usually do. And also the protein bread. Actually, I have the recipe on Instagram and also on YouTube Shorts. It's really easy, high protein, macro friendly, and amazing because I make it twice a week. I don't know why my camera always makes me makes me look so white but what have I been doing this whole time basically obviously morning is gym time I did my extremely hardcore like day yeah I died my quads tie by and then I did a crossfit workout actually this week I'm doing full week of crossfit workout so the video is probably up before this one I think so I'm not sure I think so but yeah I did a crossfit workout this is the crossfit workout I did and um, I was like already fried before <laughs> from the leg day, but I love CrossFit. And then I went on a walk because I know I knew I need, will need to do a lot of baking and I don't want to go afterwards after baking because I'm tired of standing <laughs> and flipping the pancakes. So yeah, that's why I came home only at 12. Well, yeah. Whoopsies. Okay, maybe one of the four. But now I do get what my, what my friend meant about the dough being super yummy. And I can't wait to taste test it when it actually will be baked. Because the dough already is so good. The oven is already turned on, so I might as well use it and make gingerbread cookies. The dough is so delicious. I just got a YouTube comment. I'm always really grateful for YouTube comments when somebody comments something great. But uh, I got a comment 
great video man or something like that. It's so crazy whenever somebody comments like that. I know it's an American thing, like man, because man. I have developed the habit of saying bro, bro, bro. Also to girls, but ah, uh, it's so weird. But thanks to anyone who comments something great. I really appreciate it and also helps the algorithm. It's a burn little at least some of them, but whatever. I don't know for what reason I can't talk today though. It's literally already two hours later and I just finished yoga and I'm about to eat my pancakes But it's so weird how fast time goes and like <laughs> I hate it. I hate how fast time goes but This is a reminder, please follow me on TikTok and Instagram because I post there daily, daily in inspirational content, gym shit and all that I want to be a full-time content creator. That's my dream I've been grinding for the last two years and it hasn't gone anywhere I'm not even that hungry anymore because I ate some of the gingerbread cookies and all that, and well, also the mixture and all that. And here's how much it turned out, plus this. Yeah, that's my update. You don't eat uh, pancakes with jam more than this. I will take a new jam, raspberry jam. That was hard, that was tough. I don't understand how it's possible to run five minutes faster than last week. I'm sorry, what? How is that possible? My pace was only like five seconds faster per kilometer. I don't know, kilometer, I don't know. It's really weird. It's okay, yeah, that's rewarding, but it wasn't easy. On uh, kilometer 14, I, I really wanted to stop because why? Only why my glutes hurt from today's heavy leg day, from today's heavy Bulgarians. And but the only thing why I didn't stop because I was like, when I will be fine. When I will be done, I'll be able to say I didn't stop because I want to say here that I finished and didn't stop, if that makes sense. Just finished showering. After that run and as this hair wash day, my hair, hair is always like gel, basically. And what I wanted to talk about is you always see people on social media doing big things and you're like, I could never do that. For example, maybe you're like watching this and you're like, oh my God, she ran almost half marathon and hit the P PB. And in time, I still have no clue how that's possible because, possible because it was really hard. It's possible. I'm not a runner. I know you'll be like, you just ran that much and how can you not be a runner? I'm not. I'm not. Like, it's easy to see people on social media doing big things. I always see people lifting he hell heavy weights and I'm like, I wish. Because unfortunately, my genetic genetics for lifting heavy, they're not existent. Um, my feet. But I, if you, I can do it, you can do it too. It's mindset. Sometimes I wish I could just shut my brain out and do it. <laughs> no, yes, I didn't stop. I didn't stop. But still, sometimes like, ugh, I wish I could just sh shut it down. Shut it down and do even more. But at the same time, that would be some, on some level, that would be unhealthy because you would be overworking yourself. Yeah, it's it's a it's a lot to your body. 20 kilometers, that's a lot to your body. And whenever I go to bed, when I go to bed, like sleep, sleep, I'm like, whoa, my my feet, they feel like they're like <laughs> the blood circulating super fast. Before this run, I went in the strength like day and I hit a PR, 85 kilos on squats. Yeah, my depth is non-existent, but also as I didn't do deadlifts because my back is still not not healed. I did Bulgarians with heavier weight, with 22 kgs in each hand, that's like, I don't know, 47 pounds in each hand. Who am I? I literally remember that, not maybe half a year ago, a little bit more, I struggled with 12 kgs, which is like 10 kilos lighter in each hand. I'm like, what? How is that even possible? Yeah, my glutes are really sore from that. Take care, I'm going to eat my protein pancakes that I also made yesterday, as you saw, and do something. Chill. Oh my god, look! Can you, can, why it's not focusing? Uh, what? It's such a beautiful sunset, but it's not focusing? Oh, it's always, okay, not always, but mostly really cool, interesting to go to a new gym. Today I didn't really film my CrossFit workout that much. 
This was my crossed work that I did before my push day. Yeah, that never happens. No, I've never done that. I don't think I've ever done that because, well, this was the workout. I thought it's going to be too easy, so instead of the fourth exercise, fourth minute being this that's written, I did assault the bike because in my gym, the gym I go to usually, basically, gyms, the gym I go. There are three different locations and I, today, this morning, I went to another different location and there is the assault bike. So I decided to, why not to throw the assault bike that I don't have access usually? Well, that was kind of a mistake. Once I, I got out of breath, I never regained my breath back till the emo was done because me with assault bike, zero. I'm big zero. I can't, my lungs can't take that assault bike. It was challenging. It wasn't easy. Uh, in the way that toaster bar, I'm a zero. Assault bike, I'm a zero. Uh, but literally, it looks so simple. It's not like, oh my gosh, I'm so dead. But in the way, I just was out of breath because of the assault bike and moving in the pace. Yes, I kind of had 20, 30 second rest in all the minutes, but still, it was challenging. But yeah, afterwards, basically, I made plans with. So other people to go to the different gym, uh, not the one I did the conditioning, but afterwards uh, to a different gym, a different location. I didn't feel really anything much. We just did a push a day. Yes, I did my same. I did the same workout that I usually do just in a different gym. But some machines, I was like, oh my gosh, I've never seen this. Or the te techno gym cardio machines that have a screen. In my gym, there also everything is techno gym, but no screens. Like bike with a screen. I could watch YouTube on it. Like basically anything uh, with the screen, right? <sighs> and some other machines. Yeah, also, I went later. I did my conditioning at 8 a.m. Then I started my push day at like 9.20, 9.30. I usually am done with my push. Yeah, that was my day. I just came home, it's 12.30. And now, nothing. <laughs> I'm going to chill and study. Guys, look what my mom made slash bought a few days ago. Oh my god! Do you see what's that? Baked apples! These, like the... In Latvian, the apple apples are called Antonovka apples. Like the... Not I wanted to say brand, but um, this. And they are perfect for baking with cinnamon and sugar. Oh my gosh, look, and the skin's even coming off. Oh my god, I love them. Well, then that happened, basically. I was so excited uh, because me and my mom went to a mall to get sushi. We, we go there, I'm so excited, hungry. And they say, oh yeah, we have free spaces, but you will need to wait 15 minutes. What happens when I'm hungry? I'm not just hungry, I'm angry. That means hangry. Plus, I was so excited, so hyped. And um, well, I actually haven't had that big a breakdown. Oh yeah, so as I as they said, 15 minutes, I was like, no, I'm, I can't wait. I also had that breakdown because when I will get home, it will be an hour, hour later. I'm so hungry, I'm so angry. And then, yeah, I just, I was just <laughs> immediately, started almost bawling my, bawling my eyes out, was walking home, bawling my eyes out. I know maybe right now, <laughs> even me right now saying this, I'm like, why did I have a breakdown about that <laughs> in the store and then going home for like 40 minutes, bawling my eyes out. But basically it's like, it was basically when I start getting anxiety about one thing, I get anxiety about everything. Like I get stressed about everything that has ever gone wrong. And I'm like, why can't I just have and enjoy 
and be able to have something good, right? And then like all, all I can think about is like, why? Why? Why me? Why me? Why me? Again, again, again. So that's that. But just keeping it real because you always see people on social media having the best time of their lives and blah, blah, blah. And there's me crying, <laughs> having a breakdown. Yeah, actually that used to happen a lot, like way more. Right now, I don't get that big breakdowns, breakdowns that often, but um, still, I'm extremely, extremely anxious, stressed person. This video is literally more like random clips from my life during a two week period, not a week in my life. Whoopsies, well you get what you get from me. Come on my first below zero Celsius 20 kilometer run. Spoiler alert, it was tough. Challenges, those are the things that change you. I'm so proud of myself that I literally want to cry. I can't believe it's very slow and hit the PR. Not going to lie, this was one of the hardest runs till the half. Couldn't catch my breath because when I'm running on that ice, my lungs are fighting so badly for breath because I'm using twice as much energy because I'm running on that ice. Oh, so running progress in such a short time is insane. Like, I feel like I'm nailing. I'm nailing at long runs. I think I'm starting to get addicted. To runners hype and to running so yeah that was that that run just showered again filming again after talking but you know what i wanted to say so remember my breakdown on sunday no saturday my breakdown on saturday i will say this and i preach it so much everything happens for a reason literally universe gives you things for a reason basically two things that happen for a reason they're literally screaming that uni says uni knows right Universe knows the real deal. At the start of February, um, there was a new sale on CrossFit Box to go to the, that gym. I don't go to that gym because it's pretty expensive and it was on sale. But I decided, okay, I will go it, to it by the start of this week. And then when I will come back from my Erasmus trip, oh, spoiler alert, going to Erasmus trip, next videos will come. Those are going to be the next videos, but I think I will come to that. To, to. After I will come from, back from my Erasmus trip, I will continue that. But something happened. So I signed up for another Erasmus trip. And I won't spoil the location, you will see, but it's tropical. And I can't stop thinking about it. So I'm not going to uh, go to cr that, cr that cross it because I won't be in Latvia. And uh, one thing, so universe is telling me, save that money for that. Second thing about, again, uh, that breakdown. Again, universe now. And previously said, save that money because you will need it for that trip. I can't stop thinking about it. I yesterday I bought the tickets. Universe knows it. Everything happens for a reason. I'm so hyped. I'm so excited. The next month, March in my life will be insane. I literally have to write a whole presentation, PowerPoint and also a word docs like kind of description for that presentation this is literally the second most important task for this whole school year second because the first those are going to be exams and i literally have three days four five to write the word docs description presentation still don't know it's it's a whole bummer it's a huge bummer why only four days because in five days i'm going to romania to erasmus trip oh yeah i just spoiled one of my locations destinations for one of the erasmus projects oh shit i spoiled another thing <laughs> okay good luck to me fuck it's literally more than an hour later and i Still haven't finished fixing my PowerPoint presentation. <sighs> I'm getting so tired of it, not gonna lie. I hate anything that's related to PowerPoint, Word, presentation, docs, main, making. I'm so good at writing things on a paper, like an essay, easily. But a presentation project? I seriously thought that winter was over. Well, I guess it's not, because we literally went out of my home. Two minutes later, 
all the snow was in my boots because it was morning before cleaners start working so yeah that's that again this day starting with the weekend kind of kick starting the weekend was more special uh, i'm really grateful for that that never really happened um i treated myself what i mean by that basically i haven't been aka e eaten pizza outside of home for at least five years the first piece it was boiling boiling hot it was super hot i was burning my mouth but it quickly got cold it was okay it was good i was super full and i was so thirsty afterwards because pizza a lot of salt and i treated myself with this mango cake and also iced coffee icy spicy that coffee was incredible i'm not a coffee drinker i don't drink coffees i drink coffee if i do drink coffee uh, okay on a coffee place coffee shop uh, where coffee is like one percent then the milk and the syrup is the rest of it mostly basically a lot and i enjoyed myself i was really happy i was really grateful and i was really full i literally was full till 8 p.m from the pizza i ate more than half of it more more than happy that was super full a week later i did get the sushi i wanted how pathetic of me of crying having a breakdown and then getting it but whatever so this is the sushi that i think is one of the best okay it's the best i've ever had it's not your basic avocado and that's it sushi this is the crunchy one the filled the multiple tastes buds levels everything elevated uh last time i had it was for my birthday that was may so yeah a long time ago and Last time I went with my dad, this day, this time I went with my dad and his girlfriend and I was literally giving her to try out all the flavors and she said it's incredible. Like they aren't vegan or anything like that, my, my family, they aren't vegan. And I was giving them the vegan sushi and they said they're incredible. They themselves that did, they ordered the non-vegan, also with the crunchy like tempura sushis, kind of hot ones as you can tell, say, so, yeah, the, the crunchy sushi. It's incredible. I wish I could eat sushi once a week. I wish I could go out of my home. I wish I could go out, eat out weekly, like normal people do. Maybe that you are watching this, it's like, eh, that's not a, not a big deal eating out. Well, I wish. I wish I could afford it. Well, that sushi was worth the money. I ate that, the, the, the plate was 24 pieces and it cost that 20 euros. Yeah, I wish, I wish the salaries in Latvia wouldn't be non-existent. I wish you could earn thousands and not that the minimal wage is 500 euros per month not per week per month okay whatever about the depressive thing that's making me anxious i'm really thankful for my dad and his girlfriend we had an amazing time together and now let's do another unboxing so i was actually shocked because well we just went to eat the sushi i didn't know that they will get me something and yeah also why we went outside because tomorrow is my name day and if you don't know what our name day is, basically in Latvia, we don't have just a blank calendar for every single day. After, below every day, for example, February 26, there's names. And the names that are written on that date are for those people who have name day on that day. So tomorrow, which is February 26, is my name day. So that's why we went out. Um, and they got me from Lidl. I was shook. I was like almost... You didn't need to. A 3 euro Lidl gift card. Lidl is a grocery store. Some snacks. My favorite nuts. Second favorite nuts. Two raw bars. And randomly, two avocados. I was like... And also they're ripe. That never happens when you buy avocados. They feel ripe. Which is a shocking thing. I'm really grateful. I'm really, really grateful. And also, as I'm going to the Erasmus trip, not the Romania one, but the next one, which I won't spoil, I ordered something. Okay, my mom ordered it. Okay, thank you! Travel backpack? So this is what I got. A backpack, not the sim not just random backpack, but the 40 by 20 by 25 backpack that you can fit under Ryanair. The allowed size. Hopefully it will be fine. Yeah, not what I expect. I thought that there will be multiple pockets in the big thing, but it's only one big. Okay, there. Okay, now it's fine. <laughs> there is another one. There is another. 
Okay, okay, okay. And for the back, there's also, it was kind of for the safe, most safety, most important things like your passport. Because on the back, on the back side, that's my thing. I don't know why I'm acting super weird. I'm just, I'm just hyped. This definitely wasn't my fourth leg day of the week. I'm not okay. I'm not doing well. If you know me, I'm not a normal person. I don't treat my body normally. I enjoy pain, but only the fourth, only the fourth leg day. Okay. Just only because next week will be crazy and I won't be able to go to the gym. But as it is Sunday and as it is the last Sunday of the month, basically on for each month, every month, every last Sunday, you can go to museums, museums for free. Uh, art museum, history museum. Why am I saying museum so weirdly? But yeah, we went to two different museums. I'm not a museum fan or something like that, but it's good, it's great, it's important once in a while to check the art, to see what people have created in history or now. And yeah, I mostly just sat on a chair and then looked because I was a little tired from already standing for the whole, whole, whole of the day, for the half of the day. Yeah, the next museum was a little more interesting because paintings, task for you nothing complicated basically comment down below how big is my accent I'm really curious to, to hear from a viewers point because I think I know that in the last few years my English has gotten so much better it's way better but still whenever I see listen view other content creators that are from Europe that that their first language they're not their native language isn't English I still hear the accent of course Mostly. I know you can learn how to talk without an accent, but it's actually really hard to like unlearn how you speak, right? So yeah, let me know because I like some people's accents. Some people's accents are cute. Some people's accents I'm like, I don't understand anything that you're saying or I'm like, yeah. I hope you enjoyed my random full week. I hope you enjoyed this random vlog. Like this video, subscribe for the algorithm, help me because it's my biggest dream and goal. Support me on Patreon and see you in the next one. Bye.